Welcome! In this livecast, we'll be going over all the necessary steps to install LifeRay Portal. The first thing you'll want to do is download the latest GDK 5 or 6. You can do this by going to Sun's download page. Once there, find the latest update and click download for that JDK. We're using 5.0 Update 17. Then select the appropriate platform for your computer. For this particular demo, we are using Windows. However, the great thing about LifeRay Portal is that it will run on most operating systems, servlet containers, and app servers. Go ahead and click Save. Once it's finished, we'll download the LifeRay bundle. Go to www.liferay.com and proceed to the download section of the website. For this demo, we'll use LifeRay Portal Standard Edition. Click the bundle to download. Save the file. And once the download begins, you can go ahead and exit the browser. You can visit liferay.com's products page to learn more about which edition is right for you. Okay, once Java's JDK and the Liferay bundle are downloaded, create two folders in your C drive. The first one will be called Java. And the second one will be called Liferay. Go ahead and exit, and then run the JDK installer from your desktop. Once prompted, go ahead and click I accept. And we're actually going to change the installation path to the folder we just created in the C drive called Java. Go ahead and click OK and continue to the end of the installation, making sure to also change the path of the JRE. Now you must create a new environment variable for Java. To do this, go to System in the Control Panel. Click Advanced and click Environment Variables. We'll make a new system variable named Java underscore Home. Be sure to type in all caps. The variable value will point to where you just installed Java. Please note that you may not necessarily have to make a new system variable. Some people will have it already there and just need to confirm that it's pointing to the right place. The next thing we'll do is add or confirm that the path variable has Java underscore home added to it. In our case, we need to add it. Once you've done this, go ahead and click OK until you've exited all the way out. Next, we'll unzip the LifeRay bundle to the folder we created in the C drive. So go ahead and open up that folder. And then we'll right click the LifeRay bundle and unzip it here. Once this is finished, open up the Liferay folder and we'll create one new folder in here called LPortal. If you open up the bin folder above it, you'll see two files that start with the name LPortal. These contain the default organizations in Liferay, which act as a sample website for users to examine. We're going to build our own website, so we won't need these files. And since we won't need them, we'll move the files into the L portal folder we just created. Okay, you should now be able to run LifeRay. To test this, go ahead and click My Computer on the desktop and go to the bin directory inside the LifeRay folder. Then run startup.bat. Once you've verified that the LifeRay server is running, take a web browser to HTTP localhost port 8080. OK, 
Congratulations, you have successfully installed LifeRay Portal. The default administrator login is test at liferay.com. The password is test. Thanks for listening. Should you have any other questions regarding installation or deployment of LifeRay Portal, please consult our forums and wiki at www.liferay.com in the community section.